So the first fragrance that I want to talk about is going to be this Dolce & Gabbana K. This is one that the first time that I saw the bottle, I was really just really thinking the worst even before I smelled it just because the bottle isn't necessarily my favorite because it just looks very gimmicky. It looks a little bit more um, of like a youthful type scent, but the juice inside of this fragrance is top tier. And I do feel like this is an underrated scent from this uh, fragrance house. The top notes are juniper berry, citruses, blood orange, and lemon. The mid is pimento, lavender, clary sage, and geranium. And then the base is vetiver, cedar, patchouli, and patchouli. This opens like a sweet, citrus, uh, not sharp scent at all, but it's very aromatic. You definitely get wafts of this fragrance around you. It's very, very balanced, but it is more of a linear fragrance, but it's just a really, really nice, undeniably desirable type scent. Very calming, very pleasant. It is much more of a softer, closer to the skin type fragrance. Um, so it's perfect for like up close encounters, but then also a scent that you can work for the office as well. Not because it smells very like serious, but it definitely smells like a, a very important uh, scent. It's almost like the fragrance where this person secretly runs the show and you would just never know it. I love this scent and it really impressed me because I did not expect <laughs> to enjoy it. But it's definitely one of those fragrances that you'll be intrigued by this person. It's almost smells very playful, very youthful, but not in an immature way. What I love most about this fragrance is that once it fully dries down, there's this kind of like calming, just almost like a skin scent. It almost smells like what you would want your skin to smell like naturally, like that natural skin scent. I know that that sounds very odd, but there's something about it that's just musky, but not overly done. Um, it just smells good. It smells fresh, it smells clean, but not like overly citrus, not overly musky to where you're like, this is animalic. It just smells like what you would want your natural smell to be and there's something about that that it's almost like a pheromone like there's something about that that's very desirable and it just wants you wanting more like it leaves you wanting more um, if somebody smells it on you so i just love it and i definitely feel like for the price range and the versatility of this fragrance this is one that you have to have in your collection the next one's going to be dolce and gabbana the one pour homme and this is one that I feel like there's different variations. <laughs> there's the original, which I think is the EDT. And then this one, which is the Eau de Parfum. And then I do know that there's also an Intense, which comes in a black bottle as well. All of them are incredible. So I feel like you just have to have some sort of variation of the one in your collection. But this is the one that I am speaking of. And this is the one that I feel like you just you just have to have like it's a must have in your collection for sure uh this one the top notes are grapefruit grapefruit <laughs> coriander and basil mid notes are cardamom ginger and orange blossom and then the base is amber tobacco and cedar this is like a man's man cologne um what i love the most about this one is that it's universal it's versatile it's a year-round scent it's a signature scent worthy it's one that's a classic in any man's collection it just always flourishes no matter the season of the year or the time of the day that you're wearing it it is one to remember and to love it's one that works great for date night it's one that works great for events it's one that would work great for the workspace um, whether you own the company or you just work for the company. It just, it's a shape shifting scent. I feel like this is just a very sensual fragrance for men. And when I say sensual is, it's very tolerable. It doesn't feel like it's doing too much. It doesn't feel inappropriate for any of these settings that I mentioned. It just feels like one of those that everyone will be like, wow, you just smell incredible. You just smell good. Like I mentioned, it's a signature scent worthy fragrance. You can wear this anytime you want to. It's sweet, it's aromatic, it's woody, it's spicy, it's citrusy when you first spray it. It has a little bit of 
kind of like an herbaceous undertone to it that's very very controlled so it's not overly done at all it has a warmth to it it's very welcoming intoxicating it's an attractive scent it's one that everyone will always be like wow he just always smells really good i do feel like the man that wears this or whenever he wears this he definitely will feel confident very secure in himself this is almost like a scent that this man is like a lone wolf like he can do things by himself and i just love that i think this is definitely one that has to be in your collection i feel like whether you like warm and spicy scents or you know more like freshies this is kind of like a mid fragrance between dolce and gabbana k and then the next fragrance that i'm going to mention to you from dolce and gabbana it's like a mid point where it's like fresh enough to where you can wear it during the daytime for different occasions but then still rich and warm and sensual enough for up close encounters and anything else that you're doing at nighttime as well if you want to make an impression and i just love that it's a shape-shifting scent it just works well in so many different scenarios and it does also last on the skin for a long time as well and on your clothes for a long time so you'll just continue to intoxicate people all day long so this is again dolce and gabbana the one edp last but not least let's talk about dolce and gabbana pull um intenso this one this man means business this man stands on business okay the top notes are lavender water notes basil marigold and geranium mid notes are tobacco hay clary sage mopal accord and bran and then the base is sandalwood cypress musk amber and labdanum this one is the rich deep dark scent not in the sense of it's like this warm spicy but in the sense of this is the expensive elegant successful one even though i don't think that it's going to be everyone's cup of tea and not everyone will be able to tolerate the scent i do feel like this is a stop and stare fragrance and they're going to be wondering to themselves who is this person <laughs> what do they do <laughs> because it's not that it's a very professional type scent i feel like this is definitely like I mentioned, a very expensive spelling, very elegant, very rich type fragrance, but in the sense of like success, in the sense of class, elegance. And this is a very strong and powerful fragrance, especially when you first spray it. There's something about it that is a little bit heady when you first spray it, especially if you overdo it. But it, once it starts to dry down, which happens pretty quickly, it even though it projects loudly there's something about it that just softens up as it dries down it's more of like a fresh spicy herbaceous slightly smoky which i feel like comes from the mix of the tobacco the cypress and like the musk the musk definitely as it begins to dry down does give off a little bit of an animalic touch in the background but it's nothing that's overly done to where you're like, it's standoffish. It just smells like power. This is, he said what he said and you heard what he said and there's no repeating himself. Like, it's that scent. You're not even gonna question what he said. Like, you're just gonna be like, all right, cool. Like, bet. <laughs> it's that type of scent. I would say longevity wise, you're probably gonna get seven, eight hours out of it which I feel like would get you through any type of event. I don't think that this is one that you would wear casually because naturally with this scent, because of its presence and power, you're going to get stares. You're going to get people that notice you. You're going to get compliments. You're going to get attention. You're going to get people that just want to be around you. And I feel like this is one that you're almost like the leader <laughs> pretty much when, when you're wearing the scent. Like you are looked at as the leader. So definitely try this at your own risk but it is powerful and for the price i think it's definitely one that you have to have in your arsenal for sure <laughs>